everybody. I'm just uh, recording while I'm driving to my signing. And I wanted to hop on here because I thought about uh, my most profitable day as a loan signing agent. I just had it, I think it was last Thursday. And I wanted to hop on here because I had some people ask the question, what's the difference between going direct and versus working for a signing service? So let's talk about last Thursday. That was a good day, y'all. Um, I had, and also I can talk about following up too, because I realized for January, I hadn't really stopped in to the few escrow offices that I've worked with on a regular since the new year. I think the last time I stopped by was uh, New Year's Eve or a couple days before New Year's Eve where I dropped off some champagne and stuff for the escrow officers and some cookies and stuff. But anyway, so I sent an email saying, hey, I'm available, just wanna let you guys know. Sure enough, I got uh, one escrow company gave me two signings for Thursday. Another one gave me a signing for Thursday as well. And then I had a signing from a signing service. So let's talk about the difference. For the ones that I got from the escrow offices, that is considered direct. That means I got that business directly from them. No middleman, I got the business directly from them. So I was getting paid directly from the escrow offices. And so I had an appointment at nine in the morning I think that was in Upland. And that one was a buyer signing. That one paid $250. Then I had a signing that was from the signing service. And that one was a seller. And that one paid $70. Was it $70 or $55? Might have been 55 actually because it was only about 20 pages and a couple pages that need to be notarized out of state property that they were selling then i had another one was a let me think seller and that one's from an escrow office that one was 250 dollars and then i had a buyer for 250 all on thursday and that day I made a grand total of, I think it was 805 in a day. That is has been my most profitable, is that how you say it, lower head mercy, uh, day as a signing agent, a mobile notary. Now the cool thing about going this direct is that uh, you get paid a lot faster. So once escrow closes, basically you get paid a matter of days after that so for two of them so far I've already gotten paid $500 and the other one they mailed the check so that should be in the mail the other 250 now the one that I did for the signing service that one I probably won't get paid for that for another 30 days or so because a lot of times you get paid like 30 45 days net 30 net 45 I've even had some that I'm waiting on, it's been more than 60 days. So, that is the difference of going direct versus doing signings for signing services. Cause you know, the signing services get the business, they keep a portion of the money, and then they pay you whatever their fee is that you agree to, if you agree to accept the job or not. So, you know, I gotta get out there more this year, do more, um, marketing introduce myself and get out there because the the three escrow offices that i work with now they didn't know me from adam i got that business just because i went in there introduced myself and i kept going back and i'm reminding them that i'm a local notary so now they give me a call on a regular and it's just great and plus i met some awesome people in the escrow offices everybody's been so kind and so sweet and uh that's the difference y'all so just wanted to share 
that day we share my experience because that and I thought I was going to be really tired because I like I said I started off in Upland but the next three two were in like the city where I live I mean they were right there within um, 15 minutes apart and the uh, last one I did I think that last appointment was at six and that was only in a city over so it just worked out great it was nice smooth I even had time to go home for a little bit and grab something to eat and um, I think all the signings that day the first one the buyer one that one's the average about 150 pages uh, the seller for the out-of-state property again they only had like 20 pages or so I had to notarize two documents the other seller that one was actually a small packet too it probably was no more than 60 pages if that few notarizations and then the last one the last one was a buyer and it was actually a commercial property and that one was the first time I had to deal with SBA loan docs that one was kind of thick that one had over 200 pages and it was a lot of new documents that I hadn't seen before and it worked out I did I gotta admit though I did miss some initials from the husband I had the wife initial this one document and um, I forgot to get the husband's initials I don't know how I did that so the next day uh, I had to run back to their house get the husband's initials I mean that literally took not even 15 minutes he worked from home they were really cool and understanding because I let them know that I weren't I wasn't quite familiar with the document so we worked it out and and that's that and that one already got paid for too so that's great so again that's the beauty about going direct you get paid business directly from the the escrow office title real estate agent whoever you got the business from they pay you directly so it's no middleman you don't have to worry about splitting the money and you get paid most of the time right after escrow closed within a matter of days no more than a week after. typically that's what I found and when you get the business from a signing service a lot of times you gotta wait net 30 45 60 days and you don't get that full fee you only get a portion of that whatever the signing service offered you to do the signing so let's go out there and not let's not take a portion of the pie I want the whole pie <laughs>